Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! comment tutorial video, and this time is going to be another Goki Nightmare comment tutorial video. Now, this is going to be kind of part one of a two-parter, even though it's going to be its own self-contained video. This one, I'm going to be showing you a combo that does not involve summoning Scorpio as the combo starter, but instead, rather, just summons any starter plus a Goki, any extender, rather, not really starter, but any card that can put itself on the board in addition to a Goki monster, so cards like Junk Forward, Instant Fusion, Marauding Captain, Goblinburg, Blue Mountain Butter Spy, what have you. Alternatively, this combo is possible with any two monsters that equal level 3 on board to make Invoker, to summon a Goki from deck, obviously. Uh, so, like, those are two ways to start the combo. It is a two-card combo, but it does involve you requiring a third monster in hand. It requires the monster in hand after you get your first mermaid draw, so even if it's not in your opening hand, then you are capable of just drawing into a monster and the play is completely live. This is because you need a monster in hand to trigger Firewall's effect at one specific point where you have no other monsters in hand, but you are getting searches, so you want to structure your chain links around that. And then the monster will end up being committed to the board at the end of the play, so it does sort of make it a three-card combo, but by that point, you have drawn three cards, possibly four, depending on how you want to take the play string and all that sort of stuff uh, and what have you. So this combo is going to be not involving Scorpio as a starter card, and then I'll make another video showing how the play changes if you do have Scorpio plus Monster, because that, again, is also this combo. And so basically what this combo is going to yield is it's going to yield a Trigate Wizard, a Nightmare Mermaid, a Nightmare Griffin, and a Nightmare Cerberus or Phoenix, depending on what protection you want for your board, and any searched Floodgate of your choosing, plus drawing three to four cards, as I previously stated. So, basically, that is going to be the combo I'm going to be showing you. Without wasting too much more time, I'm going to jump straight into it and explain things periodically as they happen. But before I perform the combo, I'd like to give a huge shout-out to my newest patron, Luke Kemp. You are an amazing, amazing reason why this channel continues to keep going. I appreciate any and all support that everyone gives. And if you want to support the channel as well, if you like the content I've been doing, then Patreon link is in the description down below. But, like I said, let's get into this combo. Now, obviously, you're going to just start with this sort of sequence as normal summoning your Goki and then putting your other extender on the board uh, in whatever way is the best way to do so with Junk Forward at Special Summons itself. Uh, if you had Marauding Captain, you'd summon Captain Special Super X in this case. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Now, you're going to use Super X and the Izzold, and we're going to go Chain Link 1 Izzold, Chain Link 2 Super X. And now, if you open Twist Cobra or Super X for this combo, it works out very well in your favor because off of the Super X, we're going to add Headbat. And then off the Izzold, since Izzold says you can't summon the monster's name for the rest of the turn after you use, uh, after you add it off its effect, we're just going to search a second copy of Super X off Izzold, because we've already summoned it for the turn, we've already used its search effect, we don't care what happens with Super X's for the rest of the turn, so that actually preserves another Goki name in our deck. It's not really too important to do that in the extra linking combos for some reason, but for this one, because you are actively trying to make Griffin and use a lot of big Link monsters, uh, this is actually a bit more important in this one. But So, you're going to use Izzold's effect to summon Octo Stretch from deck, and then you're going to use Headbat, discarding the Super X that we can't summon because of Izzold's search restriction to summon the Headbat. Now from here, since we can't use either of the Super Xs, might as well just go ahead and banish them both to add back the Phoenix Blade and go ahead and get things in circulation. So now from here, the Headbat and the Octo Stretch are going to be specifically made into Nightmare Cerberus. You cannot do the Phoenix play that I did in the previous combo sequence for the Extra Link in this combo sequence because you need Cerberus specifically because it's an Earth and Phoenix is a Fire. So you have to make Cerberus and work on the left-hand side of the field, so that means that unlike the previous combo sequence I showed you, you're not going to be able to work on the right-hand side of the field and make Cerberus to pop Ibli and then use Firewall to bounce back three cards. The most you're going to be able to get to bounce back with Firewall is two in this combo sequence, unless you have just a lot of other extenders that are capable of making you know a Phoenix next to Firewall mid-combo sequence. Uh, but you, you're forced to work on a sub-optimal side of the board for doing the extra link plays, but this is better for the side of the field to be working on for this play. It makes this play specifically possible. But so off of the headbat and the octo stretch, I added rematch and just any Goki name that has not used its search effect. It doesn't matter if it's Cobra or not. It just has to be any name that hasn't used its search yet. And so now from here, we're going to use the rematch for the headbat and the octo stretch, putting them back onto the field. And then they're going to immediately leave the field again to make Firewall Dragon with Izzold and those two next to the Cerberus. So now from here, you're going to link with the Nightmare Cerberus into the Nightmare Mermaid. Trigger Firewall's effect and Trigger Mermaid's effect. Trigger Mermaid is 1 and Firewall is 2. It is very important that you do it in that order. Because if you do it in the opposite order, 
then Ibli will be summoned to the field at Chain Link 2, and then Firewall cannot resolve summoning Cobra, uh, because Cobra is not a Link monster, and Ibli prevents you from special summoning anything that's not a Link monster. But so from here, draw a card. So now, at this point is the point where you need to have that monster in your hand. So we drew a card, so if you didn't have a monster in your hand before this point, you could draw it off Mermaid. But this is the point where having a monster in your hand starts to matter, strictly so that you can trigger Firewall, uh, to continually summon monsters from a hand and then search off Gokis. So, Phoenix Blade is going to be used, and you are just going to banish any two warriors. You just want to leave Octo Stretch and Grave. That's the only one you care about. All the other names, you do not care uh, where they go. So now from here, we're going to make Goblin with the Cobra and the Ibli. We are going to use Goblin's uh, gob uh, Cobra's effect. We are not going to use Ibli's effect, and we are going to trigger Firewall, and we are going to trigger Goblin. So that's why it's important this monster is here, so that we can trigger Firewall. So we're going to trigger Goblin as one, Firewall as two, and Cobra as three. Now this Goblin is going to discard the Phoenix Blade. Cobra is going to get a search for another Goki name that hasn't been used, the Rescorpio in this case. And then the Firewall will resolve at the lower chain link to special summon the Goki next to the Firewall. Goblin will resolve, will draw a card. And so now from here, we're going to use Firewall Dragon's Effect. We're going to add back the Ibli, and we're going to add back the Octo Stretch. I like to do this before I add back Phoenix Blade. That way I don't accidentally get into a situation where I have to banish Octo Stretch, and that's bad for the combo. Uh, so just a little thing to remember. But so you add back Ibli and Octo Stretch specifically because they are very important for how this combo finishes. And now we have an additional Normal Summon because of Goblin. So we'll Normal Summon Ibli next to Goblin's Arrow. Ibli will Special Summon the Cerberus over here so that it points to Ibli. And now from here, we're going to go into Binary Sorceress. Now, this combo requires you to play two cards in your extra deck that are not mandatory at all by any stretch of the imagination if you're playing the normal combo Goki deck uh, to, like, make extra links and stuff. So it does put some strain on the extra deck, but this combo might just be worth it. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Sometimes, Some days I love it, some days I hate it. Uh, but so from here, you're going to use Ibli, Firewall, and Rescorpio. You're going to make Firewall 1, Rescorpio 2, and Ibli 3. Uh, so we're going to summon Ibli to the opponent's field, and then the Rescorpio is going to add another Goki name we haven't used this turn, which is Bear Hug. And then from here, the Firewall is going to special summon that Bear Hug. So, what we've got here is we've got three Earths on the field with different names, and this is where we have to use the second card in the extra deck that's mandatory for the combo. The first one was Binary Sorceress, second one is Curious, so it does take up extra deck space that I'm not sure is worthwhile um, if you want to be playing something that's not this combo. Uh, like I said, I'm constantly on the fence about it, on whether I like it or I hate it. It's on, it goes on a day-by-day -day basis. But, so you'll link these three into your Curious, and your Goki Bear Hugs effect will trigger, your Firewall Dragon will trigger, and your Curious will trigger. You'll go one, two, and three. It's kind of sketch making Curious chain link three, uh, but like if you were going to get Ash Blossom, you were going to get Ash Blossom beforehand regardless. Uh, so at this point, we're going to send Imperial Order to Grave. You can send any trap of your choosing, whether it's a Floodgate or whether it's not doesn't really matter but so off of this bear hug you do need to add a goki monster uh to be summoned you can't add super x because we is ulted that card so we're just going to add another copy of cobra you can't add rematch here unless you have another monster in your hand again so like we have one other monster in hand we have the octo stretch and then you would need a third other monster in your hand to add rematch instead of adding a monster so it is possible but it's it's just one of those things you just got to keep in mind but so from here off the special for Firewall, we're going to special the Octo Stretch that we added back. So you added the Cobra, but it doesn't matter uh, what you added there. So this this mill kind of sucked, but I mean, hey, it's fine. We're setting a Floodgate and putting another Floodgate on the field. Like, this this combo ends in double Floodgates. Like, whoa. Um, but so you summon the Octo Stretch here, and this is another combo that requires Link Karibo. So, sorry, EU players, you don't get to play this combo for about a month. <laughs> but so you uh, you link the Octo Stretch into Link Karibo just to trigger Firewall's effect again. And you can special summon any monster that you want out of your hand. Uh, we'll summon the Goki one first just to establish a, you know, a lineage of how our searches have been uh, relevant towards the combo sequence. And so now from here, you have a couple of different options in terms of how you want this to go. You can make Griffin in the center by using Goblin, Link Karibo, and, uh, and this... And then special a monster out of your hand, and then make uh, make other cards in a different way. But the best way to do this, at least in my mind, is to go Griffin with Link Karibo and Curious over into this zone. The Firewall's effect will trigger, Griffin's effect will trigger. So Chainlink 1 Griffin, Chainlink 2 Firewall, we don't really care 
Um, so the card to discard is going to be Phoenix Blade, and we're going to reset the Imperial Order from our graveyard, and then Firewall will trigger special summoning that monster out of our hand that I said wasn't important to the combo sequence, because it wasn't. It's, very, it's literally the very last step. After you've drawn two cards, uh, the monster is like put onto the board. It's like the last step that you do. So now you draw a card, and so at this point, you have a couple different options you can do for play as well. Uh, you can either make Trigate Wizard with just Firewall and these two and leave the Goblin on the field, which has its merits, or you can make the Trigate and then get a fourth draw with a better protection on your board. So, first things first, going to add back the Phoenix Blade by Banishing Curious and Bear Hug. Doesn't really matter what they are that you're banishing, but... Uh, so now from here, we're going to make Trigate with the Goblin and the Firewall, instead of leaving the Goblin. And we don't need the Firewall anymore, because we've got these two monsters on the field. So now from here, we're going to make Nightmare Cerberus again. And since I don't know what the matchup is, I don't like leaving Ibleed with my opponent, because it barely matters usually. And if it's a Nightmare deck, they're just going to link, link it into Mermaid, essentially. It's not really going to be a lock, it's going to be just a free card for them. So instead of letting it be a free card for them, I want it to be a free card for me. So I'm going to turn it into a fourth draw. So draw a card? Yes. And so now at this point, you can add back the Phoenix Blade again just to be an extra free card. It doesn't, it literally couldn't matter less uh, <laughs> at this point. I mean, like, I guess it matters if you summon, like, the two, one of the two other Nightmare cards. But, like, this is your ending board, right? Off of that two-card combo, two cards plus any monster in hand, essentially. So I guess by the end of the, by the end of it, it does become a three-card combo, but you've drawn into cards by that point. So... It, it really just depends. It's a non-specific combo piece, so it doesn't really need to be counted. Like, it could literally be a Garnet. It doesn't have to have an effect or anything. It was a Darling Cobra in this instance. Ends in a Griffin, live Trigate Wizard, with a Cerberus protecting from field destruction and board wipes and stuff like that. And you have an Imperial Order. Now, like I said, I'm not very keen on this combo sequence. I feel like I'd rather be extra linking people and then leaving Ibli on their field or just extra linking them in general with a full board full of multiple protections. Uh, with Trigate Wizard, but at the same time, this has its merits. Griffin, Floodgate against monster effects. Order, Floodgates against uh, spells. Trigate negates the like outlier in between cards that could be used there. Uh, and then Cerberus protects the entire board from being destroyed by card effects, so Trigate doesn't really have to do anything to negate things like Raigeki or things like that. Well, Order already negates that, so bad example, but like Spiral Tough, for example, like... You like just you could just put them on better habit if they target the order. Like it, it just ultimately depends. Um, but basically, like I feel like I'd just be rather, I feel like the deck would be better off extra linking people, especially since like order is a card that in certain matchups would be less valuable, but in some matchups it is an auto win. Uh, nightmare decks usually play through a board like this typically pretty efficiently, especially if you leave the Ibli on their field. Um, like that just makes it really easy for you for them to out your board because then they just make mermaid and then like if it's spiral they summon double helix or they summon super agent under it and pop order and do all sorts of nonsense and uh, and extra stuff so it really just depends it's very matchup dependent but it is a very strong going first play so definitely something worth considering and being noted upon now next video I'm gonna be putting out on this combo sequence is gonna be this exact same combo sequence of starting with just Scorpio plus discarding a monster because that's all the combo requires but it does change the structure of how certain things have to happen. Uh, but that will just be another video in its entirety just to show you how that can be changed because for some reason, like, some like it's simple enough to get to these combo sequences when you've been playing the deck for a while, but I can understand why people have a hard time identifying what can be a starting point and what uses too many resources to where the play is not possible anymore and all that sort of stuff. So I, I guess I can understand. Uh, I guess just it's it's overly simple in my mind, but I guess I can understand where certain other people are coming from. But anyway, closing thoughts. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. If you're new here and you like the content I've been doing, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the, uh, the community based around this channel. I'd be happy to have you. But other than that, as always, check out the links in the description to my Facebook fan page and my personal Twitch page if you want to go follow that and get notified when the next live stream is going to happen, when I go live. Or if you want to support the channel directly and help make some of this content more possible to do on a regular basis, Patreon link is also in the description down below. And as I've already said, I'm very grateful and eternally grateful for any support that anyone wants to give to the channel because it makes this easier for me to do. But other than that, as I've already said, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And as always, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.